16, another logic problem. This one I think is kind of fun. Easiest way to set this up is truth tables. So I have A, B, and C, and uh, these are statements such that C is true if exactly one of A and B are true. So if you can set this up like here's A, here's B, here's C. A could be true and B could be true. A could be true and B could be false. A could be false and B could be true, or A could be false and B could be false. Those are my only four possibilities. And now what I'm gonna do is look at what happens to C. Uh, C is true if exactly one of A and B are true. So up here, C is false. Down here, C is true. Down here, C is true. Down here, C is false. Because here I have zero trues, one true, so it's true, one true, so it's true, two trues, it's bad, it's false. If C is false, so now all of a sudden I'm talking about this case and this case, which of the following statements must be true? If A is true, then B is false. No, um, because right here, A is true, but B is not false, and I'm in this special case. So it's not this one. If A is false, then B is false. Ooh, that looks pretty good. If A is false, then B must be false if I'm in this special case. Yep. If A is false, then B is true. Now, here A is false and B is certainly not true. A and B are both true. No, that happens here, but it does not happen down here. A and B are both false. No, it happens here, but it doesn't happen up here. Answer would be B. Fairly easy to see once you set up these truth tables like this. Without the truth tables, if you try to talk yourself through this, I don't know, maybe you can do it. I sure couldn't do it.